No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. And the human race is filled with passion. In medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. That you are here. That life exists and identity. The powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? Why can't we treat death with a certain amount of humanity and dignity and decency and, God forbid, maybe even humor? Death is not the enemy, gentlemen. If we're going to fight a disease, let's fight one of the most terrible diseases of all, indifference. A doctor's mission should be not just to prevent death, but also to improve the quality of life. That's why you treat a disease, you win, you lose. You treat a person, I guarantee you, you'll win, no matter what the outcome. If I asked you about art, you'd probably give me the skinny on every art book ever written. Michelangelo, I know a lot about him. Life's work, political aspirations, him and the Pope, sexual orientation, the whole works, right? But you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. You've never actually stood there and looked up at that beautiful ceiling. Seen that. If I ask you about women, you'd probably give me a silver, say your personal favorites. You may have even been laid a few times. But you can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. When I ask you about war, you probably uh, throw Shakespeare at me, right? Once more into the breach, dear friends. But you've never been near one. You've never held your best friend's head in your lap and watch him gasp his last breath, looking to you for help. When I ask you about love, you probably quote me a sonnet. But you've never looked at a woman and been totally vulnerable. You've known someone that could level you with her eyes. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. He could rescue you from the depths of hell. And you wouldn't know what it's like to be her angel. To have that love for her be there forever. Through anything. Through cancer. And you wouldn't know about sleeping, sitting up in a hospital room for two months, holding her hand. Because the doctors could see in your eyes that the terms visiting hours don't apply to you. You don't know about real loss, because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. I doubt you've ever dared to love anybody that much. You know, as we come to the end of this phase of our life, we find ourselves trying to remember the good times and trying to forget the bad times. And we find ourselves thinking about the future. We start to worry. Thinking, what am I going to do? Where am I going to be in 10 years? But I say to you, hey, look at me. Please, don't worry so much. Because in the end, none of us have very long on this earth. Life is fleeting. And if you're ever distressed, cast your eyes to the summer sky. When the stars are strung across the velvety night. And when a shooting star streaks through the blackness, turning night into day. Make a wish. Think of me. Make your life spectacular. I know I did. <laughs>